Hey, what's up friends? My name is Max and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS5 or PS4 controller or any other third-party controller to your Xbox, whether it's Xbox Series, One, 360 or original Xbox. There's only two ways. First is to use an adapter. The second is to use what is called remote play. Each of these methods has its pros and cons, so let me show you both of them and then we'll compare them. I personally prefer using an adapter. And there are several adapters on the market. If you search the web for yourself, you will certainly come across this one. It's Wingman XB made by Brook. I'm not affiliated with this company. It's just the first that I bought, still works fine, does what I need, works with wired controllers, with wireless controllers, and with any game. So I'm satisfied. Now, how to use it? It's simple. Step 1. Plug in the adapter to the USB slot of your console. Slow blinking of the blue LED light indicates that the connection to the console is successful. Step 2 for wired connection. Simply plug in the cable for your controller to the adapter and it should start working. Simple as that. Step 2 for wireless connection. Hold down the LED button on the dongle until it starts flashing. Then hold down the pair button of your controller until its light starts blinking. For example, on PS4 and PS5 controller, hold down the share button and the PS button at the same time. Boom, they both flash in. And in about 5 seconds, they should connect to each other. If the blue LED lights are permanently on, it means the controller is connected. Now the second way of connecting the controller is without using any adapters. And for that, we will need a feature called Remote Play. We'll basically be using the smartphone as a hub between the console and the controller. It also works fine. If you have a proper connection, you won't notice any delay or input lag. So let's get into it. You will need a smartphone, install the official Xbox application, decent Wi-Fi connection and the Bluetooth controller. To prepare your Xbox, go to the settings, devices and connections and make sure to enable remote features. Then, to prepare your controller, you need to connect it to the smartphone. With PlayStation controllers, hold down the share button and the PS button until the lights start flashing. Go to Bluetooth settings on the smartphone, find your controller and pair them. Then open up the Xbox application. Then you'll see this little console icon on the top right corner. Go there and then tap on Remote Play on this device. Wait a couple of seconds, boom! The smartphone and the controller are connected. Now you can operate your console with a controller. And of course you can either play on the phone or on the TV. So I showed you two ways. Each of them has its own advantages or disadvantages. So let's compare them. With an adapter you'll have a perfect connection. No problems with input lag and every game will work just fine. Like with an actual Xbox controller. You'll also be able to use wired controllers and you can use this adapter on any Xbox console and on a computer as well. But you will need to pay extra money for the dongle and you won't be able to connect more than one controller to one adapter. So if you need more controllers, you'll need more adapters. With the remote play on the other hand, you don't need to buy anything extra. And the whole remote feature is fun. You can play from anywhere you want, even outside of your home. You'll just need a proper internet connection for that. But you won't be able to play Xbox original games and Xbox 360 games. On top of that, a remote control won't work with old consoles like Xbox 360 and original Xbox. In addition, you obviously won't be able to use wired controllers. And the worst side of this method is that you can't use your phone for anything except the remote feature while you're playing. If you close the Xbox app, you'll break the connection. So that's it. I hope this video helped you. Useful links will be in the description. And if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye.